just two quotes, inshallah, from uh, Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz and one from Sheikh ibn Thaymin about Sayyid Qutb uh, to prove the hisbiyah of the Sururi'een, that they are hisbi to Sayyid Qutb and uh, they will curse Sheikh Al Albani as uh, this young ignorant fool did in uh, London called Abu Zubair on the internet and he is very close to uh, Ali Tamimi and supports Ali Tamimi. In fact, he wrote an email to us called In Defense of Ali Tamimi. Uh, on the Thursday, the 21st of January 1999, at 22.42, uh, 100 hours and 14 seconds. He said, to start with, Sheikh Al-Albani himself has fallen into a very serious irja of the Ashaira, which is the same as the followers of Jahm bin Safwan. This is uh, one of the uh, one of the allies or students or colleagues or defend, definitely in defense of Ali Tamimi, Abu Zubair. And on a recent cassette of his, we hear uh, Ali Tamimi mentioning Abu Zubair and wanting to sit with him and meet with him at the end of one of the lectures that he gave. Just one thing. Sorry to, sorry to break in here, but just one thing that you should be aware of is you'll find that the people who propagate the ideas, these false principles, you'll find that really the people who gather around them even though you might not have something clearly from them, the people who gather around them and the trash that gathers around them and from what they say and from what they explain, you know that, that they're upon this bidah. As one of the Salaf said that whoever hides his bidah from us, then his companions will not be hidden from us. Okay? So what, we, what we're going to go through here, like this Jahil when he says that Shaykh Al-Bani is Murji extreme in his irja, and so on and so forth, we know from this that this is the very same thing that the people who adhere to the dawah of the likes of Safar and Salman and so on and so forth. We know that the source and the root of this dawah, where does it come from? From those very same people. So this is a very clear uh, uh, proof that we should be aware of. Uh, that the Salaf explained that you might hide your bidah, but your companionship and who mix with you and who can quote from you and who narrate from you, what comes through them, that will not remain hidden from us. And this is how we should view this inshallah. Uh, so going to Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Mubaz, and uh, one of the things that, that we notice over and over again from uh, Abu Muntasir and uh, this Jamia Iha Min Haj as saruriya the group known as Jimas, that they are organizing this conference and their chief speakers are the likes of Ali Tamimi, Idris Pama, uh, Abu Mina, Bilal Phillips and others from amongst them, that you find their great support and defense of Sayyid Qutb. And then at the same time claiming that Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz uh, is the one that we should follow and he's the one, he's the reference point of the Ummah because they know that Shaykh Al-Albani has spoken against him so now they've put him in the ranks of the Murjia now they refer back to Abdul Aziz ibn Baz but even then they are uh, cornered Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz Hafidullah, when asked about the speech of Sayyid Qutb concerning the saying of Allah when Allah mentions Ar-Rahman al arsh istawa Sayyid Qutb said in Az-Zilal or Fi Dhalail al-Quran he mentions, as for al-istiwa, this is Sayyid Qutb's words, as for al-istiwa upon the throne, then we are able to say it is a metaphor for his mastery over the creation. Az-Zilal, 4 stroke 2328 and 6 stroke 3408, 12th edition, year 14, uh, 1406, publishes Darul Ilm. So after this being read to Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz, Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz rahimahullah said, this is a futile saying that this means his mastery. He is not affirmed, he has not affirmed al-istiwa, which means denial of istiwa, which is known and it means, uh, it me and means his ascension, meaning Allah's ascension over his throne. What he has said is futile. What Sayyid Qutb has said is futile and shows that he is destitute with regard to tafsir and lost in that regard. He is destitute. Sayyid Qutb is destitute with regard to tafsir and he is lost in that regard. The one, and then one of the ones who was present with uh, the Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz rahimahullah, mentioned that some people always advise that this sh book should be read. That the people say, read this book, Fidil al Quran, in the shade of the Quran, tafsir of the Quran by Sayyid Qutb. So Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz said, that which he says is an error. No, it is an error. That which he says is an error. He will soon you write. Soon you write in that regard, uh, and he will soon write, in, and we will soon write in that regard, insha'Allah. So Abdul Aziz Mubarak says that we will write in that regard, 
inshallah against Sayyid Qutb. Then in the same lesson, some parts of the book of Sayyid Qutb, at Taswir Al Fanni fil Quran, were read to him, such as his speech about Musa, where Sayyid Qutb mentions about Musa alayhi salam. Let us take Musa, Sayyid Qutb says, let us take Musa as the example of a leader of excitable nature. And here, nationalistic, zealotry appears, as does emotional excitement. From Musa what? Nationalistic, zealotry appears, as does emotional excitement. And this excitable impulse quickly passes away, and he regains his composure, as is the case with the excitable folk. Yeah? Then he said, then Sayyid Qutb said with regard to the, uh, one, uh, the saying of Allah, that this is about Musa alayhi salam upon entering a village. That he said, this is the description of a well-known state of Musa alayhi salam. The restless and fear of one accepting evil at every turn. And this is the characteristic of the excitable folk. And this is the 13th edition of his At-Taswir fi fanni al-Qur'an, fil Qur'an. Then the Shaykh Abdul Aziz ibn Ubaz replied to this by saying, Mockery of the Prophets is apostasy on its own. And it was said to uh, and it was said to him that Shaykh Rabi Ibn Hadi Al Madkhali has written in refutation of Sayyid Qutb. So the Shaykh Abdul Aziz Ibn Baz Allah said rebuttal of him is good. During a lesson of Shaykh Abdul Aziz Ibn Baz Allah in his house in Riyadh, the year fourteen thirteen, on the tapes known as Manhaj Sunnah tapes of Ar Riyadh. Uh, now you will never hear the Surur is mentioning any of this uh, Ever. In fact, as far as they can say, Qutb is al-Ustad, al-Imam, and as uh, Adnan Arur says, that the one who revived the Salafi manhaj in this time. Anyway, Shaykh Muhammad ibn Sari al-Uthaymin, Hafidullah said, My study of the, Sayyid, uh, of the books of Sayyid Qutb, Ibn Uthaymin, Rahimullah, my study of the books of Sayyid Qutb has only been scant, and I do not know m- about his condition. However, the scholars have written about his book in, uh, his book in tafsir known as Fidal al-Qur'an. They have written critical comments about it, such as what Sheikh Abdullah al Duwaysh rahimahullah wrote, and our brother Sheikh Rabi al Madkhali wrote some points of criticism upon him, upon Sayyid Qutb, with regard to his tafsir and other things. So whoever wishes to refer to that, then let him do so. A lecture entitled Liqama Sheikhain Muhammad ibn Thaymeen and Rabi al Madkhali in Jeddah, dated the 20th of November, the year 1413. Shaykh Sali al Fawzan, Hafidullah. Have you quoted anyone but the Kibar so far? Shaykh, Muhammad, Shaykh Sali ibn Fawzan al Fawzan, Hafidullah, said The question regarding the book Az Zilal of Sayyid Qutb is a matter open to question, since Az Zilal comprises things which are very dubious, and that, we should attach the, and, and that we should attach the youth to it, and that they should accept the thoughts obtained uh, in it. This is a dubious matter since it may have an evil effect upon the minds of the youth. The tafsirs of Ibn Kathir and the many tafsirs of the, of the scholars of the Salaf are such that they leave no need for the like of this tafsir. Then in reality it is not a tafsir, but rather deals with the general themes of the surahs of the Qur'an in general. So it is not a tafsir in the sense well known to the scholars. And then he mentions some more points. And then he mentions, as for the Lail al-Qur'an, there is tafsir dealing with general concepts and we and we made and we made call and we may call it an objective explanation from the objective tafsir that are known in this age. However, it is not to be dependent upon due to the affairs of Sufism contained in it, due to the wordings contained in it that do not befit the Quran, such as pertaining to music and rhythms. And then some references are mentioned uh, from the Lal Quran. Also by Tawheed, Sayyid Qutb. He does not mean Tawheed of worship, but rather mostly means Tawheed of Rabubiyyah, of Lordship. And if he mentions anything of Tawheed of worship, then he concentrates of Tawheed al And this is from the words of uh, Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh Al-Fawzan, Ma'alim fi Tariq. And then uh, Sheikh Fawzan says, 
then there is no doubt that Hakimiyah is part of Tawheed of worship, but it is not the uh, of uh, it is not the Uluhiyah that is required. Then the book should not be set along with Ibn Kathir. That is what I hold. And if the books of the Salaf were to be chosen instead, then the books giving attention to Aqidah, Tafsir of the Quran, and Sharia rulings, then that would be more befitting for the youth. And and finally, finally.